Last episode, we finished our time in Tassie. We probably had a few too many beers with any of skate last night. And returned to the mainland. such a funny end of the trip. We, yeah. uh, we haven't really met up with any other sort of people doing a lap yet, but just in the last two days we met up with three groups that are all legends, <laughs> they're all they're such awesome. legends. So we're just in Dobinson Suspension in Melbourne. Uh, I'm getting the back end sorted out in the ute. <laughs> I just know once we get to the top end, once it starts getting a bit rougher, we're just going to fall to bits because it was just on its guts. A few extra leaves in, just so it's rated, constant load a bit better, got a bit of travel. It'll just be way easier on the ute and probably save us many more, more thousands down the track. So, bit the bullet and just getting it done. Should be good though. I'm excited to see how it rides after. So much higher the back is. Yeah. And then the front as well. The whole thing looks higher. Yeah. Cool. Beautiful. Look at that space in between. All right, we uh, <laughs> had a pretty whirlwind day in Melbourne. New rear suspension, mm -hmm. money. Then we bought our wetsuits wet each. Money. Like winter grade thick wetsuits. We just got everything else, mm. fuel, shopping. It's been a big day. I got a new bikini. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not feeling bad about spending the money on the suspension, that's for sure. The no, useless riding so is so much better. better. And now so I'm just more better. confident just to go off-road a bit more. Yeah, now it's this is literally our start of us heading west I know. in Australia. This we is just, the start. Yeah, we just have to Google where the Great Ocean actually starts because we have we had no idea. And we haven't had a chance yet today to look at anything. <laughs> Stop in the back. So we're just going to go to a campsite nearby and I don't know, we might try and get up to sunrise tomorrow. Yeah. And then just Wait. do a bit of the Great Ocean Road at sunrise before mm -hmm. the... Uh, tourists. We'll uh, get back to you soon. Peace. Um, just quickly also, this is how unorganized we are today. <laughs> There's just <laughs> shit everywhere. Not to mention our wet clothes are hanging up <laughs> in the back. They're just strewn across everything. We've just got like wet clothes. So I did some washing. We did washing. So we're gonna have to get that on a ratchet strap clothesline when we get to camp. Yeah, so yeah, let's go to camp. <laughs> All right. I uh, left my sunnies somewhere. somewhere in Melbourne. Actually, a nice, expensive pair of sunnies that were really good. This is I'm wearing. Holy, oh, they look pretty good on me. <laughs> this is our camp in don't know where, but we're here. <laughs> it's um cold and. Sorry about the state of the campsite, we've got our <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, old nice. ratchet strap clothesline. We now know where we are. We are at Hammond Point, Hammond, Hammond Road campground. So, and this cool dirt road we can go towards Great Ocean Road. So, it's good. Good start, we don't have to go around and backtrack or anything. Yeah. That's too. Ooh, water's boiling. Coffee time. Mm -mm. Cooking up some beans, we've been loving these beans lately, eh? Yeah. They're good. <laughs> Holly, very um, fortuitous to the page opening. Right to the exact page she wanted. Boom, it's a sign. It is a sign. It's that gonna we're be. on the Great Ocean Road. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. Good day. I was just there cooking breakfast and I just caught a little glimpse. <laughs> My new suspension. Oh yeah, look at this! Look at this suspension. I just looked at it and I was like, oh, it's some good looking suspension. I'm so keen for it. One of the best things about the new suspension is, because it's so much higher, I don't hit my head on the on the door of the canopy anymore.
So we're at the start of the Great Ocean Road and we're just taking, we were taking a photo of the U with the sign. And that left the lights on and now our battery is flat. And now it's really quite awkward because our car's just parked in the most obnoxious place and there's people everywhere. And we have a jump starter pack, but it's flat. So now we need to charge that and it's just not good. Not a good start. Also got a... You right? that long enough? Legend. Shio uh, waterfalls is just, just not flowing. No water. Nothing. So we're gonna it's go back. A, it's on the <laughs> yes! No worries. I was not worried about pushing the ute down the car park at all. Okay, so we were just chilling here, having lunch. The police pulled over and we thought we were going to get in trouble. Stop the road, but I thought, oh, here we go, he's going to tell us to get off the grass or something. And then he just pulled over and wanted to have a chat about the Hilux. He's like, mate, I've got one of them. He's like, yeah, you find it, you find it all right. He's like, I just don't know if I trust mine. I'm like, mate, just don't go just for it. Do it. Anyways, and then when I was, I'm like, oh, we're trying to find somewhere to camp. He's like, oh, yeah, just go down past the fish car up and then near the golf course, down the gravel at the end there. If you don't leave a mess, there's no camping, but just... Just camp no, there. Just, if you don't leave a mess, you know, no one really cares. And then the other cop lady told us somewhere that there's hot showers and She's here. like, yeah, yeah, if you go down past this part and then you get hot showers, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> hectic. The cops are telling yeah, we us to like, like go to these no camping spots. Yeah. Anyway, fantastic. So um, this yeah. is like, we're, and we were just having trouble as well. We're Trying like, oh, we somewhere. have no idea where we're going to camp tonight because it's like, it's just so busy in the Great Ocean Road. There's nowhere to camp. <laughs> Just got a random little uh, spot here, um, the one that the cops told us to come to, so we're allowed to do it. Just cooking some dinner, a bit of beef teriyaki stir fry. How was your sleep last night, Maddie? Really good. Um, just got a nice relaxing sleep because the cops told us to sleep here, so nothing to fear when the law itself is with you. But um, just as we were about to go to sleep, Holly realised a huge spider just at the exit of the tent. So, couldn't get out. Uh, I had to open the door, put my hand about a centimetre away from it to open the zip and then get a thong and I killed it and then it just like exploded in guts all onto my pillow. <laughs> <gasps> oh, well it's got something. Oh. <laughs> I only changed our pillow covers yesterday too. <laughs> How big do you reckon it was? Oh, Huntsman, Huntsman like that. Yeah. Like it would have been half the size of my hand. It was just huge. Yeah. Like it, was, it was one of them big ones you're like, oh my god, that's a big huntsman. And all its. I mean, I don't mind spiders, but like, 
I'm glad Holly saw that because who knows what it would have done when we turned the lights out. It would have just been running around everywhere. It probably would have run over us. Like, just, nah. So yeah, but then yeah, Spider gets my pillow. Fun. <laughs> Breakfast with some mates, eh, Holly? Yeah, and I'm... <laughs> you know they clean their beaks? You know how magpies clean their beaks on the, on the branches? They're like... And they clean them. When I was a kid, I used to think they were sharpening their beaks to like swoop you better. <laughs> Oh. That one's looking at me quick, guys. Yeah, looking pretty hectic. Um, flying around us up in there. They're encircling us. Oh yeah. Ah. He's looking. At, oh my god. <laughs> that thing was just right, right, like probably two foot away from my head. It was just like. This is terrifying. So they're gone now. Well, I just went and got these crap pair of sunnies because I lost my other ones. We're down to the beach. Because what are we doing, Holly? We're going kayaking to seals. We're going kayaking to seals. Should be fun. Holly in her brand new wetsuits. Beer, meow, meow. back from our seal encounter which was pretty cool seal encounter no it was pretty cool <laughs> it was cool um and then we got to catch some waves in and we absolutely ate shit yeah <laughs> but no it was, it was uh that no, was good fun mm. got to caught him in a few times and then the seals were swimming around and hopefully we got some footage of it I don't yeah know. maybe we already showed you maybe we have nothing yeah <laughs> we don't know we, we just shove the gopro underwater and pray for something <laughs> So we're just leaving Apollo Bay now um, and we'll be heading towards the 12 Apostles uh, where we'll hopefully find a camp somewhere near there tonight and then tomorrow we'll get off the sunrise. It's a bloody glorious day to yeah, be driving great. the Great Ocean so Road nice. today. Blue skies. Blue skies. It's actually quite warm. It's hot. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good change from... Tassie. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Sky and Emerson told us about this little dirt track, um, and they said, "Yeah, you probably camp here." And yeah, they're right. There's a good little clearing for it, um, and we're only like six minutes away from the Twelve Apostles, so it is a random little dirt track, but it's awesome. Yeah, it's worked out really well because it's a bit hard to get camping around here. It's not really a camp spot here, but oh well. Matt's just wrestling up some dinner. Well, he was. Now he's dancing. <laughs> I'm reheating last night's. Stir fry! Teriyaki, wow. Are we in Japan? No, we're actually on the Great Ocean Road in Australia. drone up and you can actually see the 12 apostles from the drone which is pretty cool 
So we are getting out for sunrise to try and beat some of the tourists. We know we're not going to beat all of them, but yep. That's the plan, and then we're going to check everything else out tomorrow. So should be a fun day tomorrow. Big day of filming. Yep. Lots of cool stuff. See you in the morning. Bye. Next time on Overland Travellers. Morning. We're going to see sunrise, 12 fossils. <coughs> Woo! We check out the most famous landmarks on the Great Ocean Road and do a few repairs in the ute before we head to South Australia. Just in Warrnambool, um, doing a few running repairs. 